वेलकम बैक माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स आज हम पॉपुलेशन इंट्रैक्शन डिस्कस करेंगे तो पॉपुलेशन इंट्रैक्शन को डिस्कस करने से पहले हमें पता होनी चाहिए व्हाट इज़ अ पॉपुलेशन पॉपुलेशन सिंपली मीन्स अ ग्रुप ऑफ इंडिविजुअल्स ऑफ सेम स्पीशीज दैट लिव टुगेदर एट अ पर्टिकुलर प्लेस लेकिन एक चीज़ आप याद रखेंगे ये पॉपुलेशन है इट कैनॉट लिव इन आइसोलेशन इट लिवस इन क्लोज एसोसिएशन विद द पॉपुलेशन ऑफ अदर स्पीशीज इट इंट्रैक्ट विद द पॉपुलेशन ऑफ अदर स्पीशीज इन बोथ पॉजिटिव एंड नेगेटिव वेज ओके एंड दिस होल सेट ऑफ पॉपुलेशन दैट आर प्रजेंट एट अ पर्टिकुलर प्लेस एट अ पर्टिकुलर टाइम दे कंस्टिट्यूट अ बायोलॉजिकल कम्युनिटी ओके सो जो पॉपुलेशन होती है इन नेचर द पॉपुलेशन इज कैनॉट लिव इन आइसोलेशन और यू कैन से इन नेचर द ऑर्गेनिज्म कैनॉट लिव इन आइसोलेशन इन अ स्टेट दे लिव टुगेदर एंड इन्फ्लुंस वन अनदर इधर डायरेक्टली और इनडायरेक्टली सो एनिमल्स प्लांट्स एंड माइक्रोव्स दे डू नॉट एंड कैनॉट लिव इन आइसोलेशन बट दे इंट्रैक्ट इन वेरियस वेज टू फॉर्म ए बायोलॉजिकल कम्युनिटी यहाँ पे प्लांट्स की पॉपुलेशन है एनिमल्स की पॉपुलेशन है माइक्रोब्स की पॉपुलेशन है नीदर ऑफ दिज पॉपुलेशन ओके दे के नॉट लिव इन आइसोलेशन दे आर नॉट इट्स सेल्फ एबल टू सर्वाइव दे आर ऑनली एबल टू सर्वाइव एंड एग्जिस्ट वैन दे इंट्रैक्ट एंड दिस होल लॉट ऑफ स्पीशीज सॉरी पॉपुलेशन दे कंस्टिट्यूट ए बायोलॉजिकल कम्युनिटी so a biological community is a group of populations of different species that are present at a particular place at a particular time okay biological community mein bahut sari populations aati hai jo ek hi area mein hogi aur interact kar rahi hogi okay now the question is why do organisms interact Why organisms interact? They interact for a number of purposes, among which food procurement, shelter, and getting defense are important. Okay, so you can say they mainly interact for food, shelter, and defense purposes. Now let's talk about the interactions that occur between plants. and other uh, living organisms in spite of the fact that plants are autotrophic they are capable of synthesizing their own organic food material they too cannot live in isolation alaida wo nahi reh sakte okay in spite of the fact in spite of the fact that uh, they are capable of synthesizing organic food material they are capable of photosynthesizing but wo bhi alag nahi reh sakte they depend on other organisms for example they need the assistance of uh, soil microbes to break down the dead organic matter which is present in the soil jo dead organic matter hota hai soil mein they take the help of these uh, it is it decomposes only when there are enough microbes present in the soil these microbes they decompose this organic material and finally this leads to mineralization or release of mineral nutrients from this dead organic matter and these minerals are finally taken up by the roots of plants so you can say that the plants they depend on these microbes for their mineral nutrition and likewise they also rely on animals for pollination they rely on uh, birds insects and other animals for pollination if there are not enough birds and insects or you can say if the birds and insects are not there the plants they they would fail to pollinate and hence they cannot produce ultimately this will result in their extinction the population interactions they have been grouped into positive interactions and negative interactions on the basis of their outcomes uh first of all neutralism it is a zero zero interaction that means neither population affects the other if two populations live at the same place okay they do not interact much 
they do not affect each other this sort of interaction is known as neutralism okay second one is commensalism it is a positive zero interaction and in this interaction one population gets benefited other remains unaffected then we have proto cooperation it is positive positive interaction both populations get benefited but this sort of interaction is not obligatory iska matlab ye hai agar interaction hai do populations ke beech both population uh, populations will get uh, the benefit but they can also live in isolation okay uh, then uh, mutualism it is also a positive positive interaction but it is obligatory obligatory means if you are going to separate these two populations they cannot live in isolation then parasitism it is positive negative interaction in which one organism named as parasite gets benefit and the other organism remains harmed then predation it is also positive negative interaction in which a large organism which is known as predator gets benefited and the other organism which is usually small in size named as prey it gets harmed then we have competition it is a negative negative interaction in this type of interaction both the populations get negatively affected then amensalism it is a negative zero interaction one population gets been uh, harmed and the other population remains unaffected now the positive interactions these are those interactions in which either one or both the populations are benefited and none is harmed agar do populations are interactions kar rahi hai if they are interacting with each other either one or both the populations will get benefited and none is harmed now these interactions can be either obligatory or facultative agar hum obligatory ki baat karenge to best example is mutualism and the proto cooperation is the example of facultative positive interaction it includes commensalism proto cooperation and mutualism hum aaj baat karenge commensalism ki it is a type of positive interaction in which one kind of population which is known as commensal it gets benefited while the other population which is named as host it remains unaffected or you can say it is neither benefited nor harmed there are many examples for example an orchid which is a plant it grows as an epiphyte on a mango branch it grows as an epiphyte it does not grow as a parasite on the mango plant okay the mango plant remains unaffected while as the orchid by gaining support it gets benefited and similarly uh, the association of barancles that grow on the back of a whale they get benefited the barancles get benefited while as the whale remains unaffected altogether jo whale hoti hai it remains unaffected there is no positive or negative uh, effect on the whale but the barancles they get support and thus this sort of association between barancles and the whale it can be called as commensalism here you can see the orchid growing as an epiphyte it does not derive any nutrition from the uh, mango plant okay it only takes the support of mango plant and similarly the barancles growing on the back of whale uh, they are positively affected while as the whale remains unaffected the woody climbers which are known as linias they also show commensalism with uh, the trees they grow on the trunks of trees and gain support they move to the top of the canopies uh, by doing this they get positively affected they get benefited while as the tree on the trunk of which these uh, woody climbers grow that they remain unaffected there is one more example the cattle egret and grazing cattle in close association here you can see you jo birds hai cattle egrets and these cattle you will always find them uh, in close association to fayda kya hai in egrets ko jab ye cattle move karte hain 
the insects uh, which are present in the grass they come out and these are ultimately taken out uh, by these egrets jab ye cattle move karte hain jo grass mein insects hote hain chupe hote they come out and are ultimately eaten by these cattle egrets while the cattle egrets are uh, benefited the cattle remain unaffected and finally the interaction that occur between sea anemones uh, that possess stinging tentacles and the clownfish that lives in these tentacles here you can see these are the cl uh, clownfish they live uh, within these uh, tentacles of the sea anemones okay in this association the fish gets protection from predators which stay away from stinging stinging tentacles while as the anemone does not appear to derive any benefit from by hosting the clownfish okay fish ko protection milti hai against predators while as this anemone it does not seem to uh, get any positive uh, benefit from the clownfish okay so this interaction also comes under commensalism so this was all about commensalism see you soon with a new lesson on population interactions till then take care